Yo, to what's good as your boy, I'm on Dean. Back on my gym journey. You know what I told y'all? That my TikTok girlfriend's just mad at my face, which I ain't touched today, but I guess I'm lying because I just touched it. But yeah, I'm back in the gym. I was looking in the mirror the other day, and my thighs was just looking extra skinny. If you look at the new video I just uploaded, my thighs is looking extra little. Like, I'm gonna have to start squatting. I don't like I pick somebody's daughter and take all of them through there. You feel me? Love, love. You know, love, love. I'm talking that um, real, uh, that real Mac love stuff. And you know, with these thighs, her Valentine's Day might be born. You know what I'm saying? So, we back in here today, doing major things, all right? Let's see what I get done. I'm from the home of the Yankees. I scoop a daddy that asked what she banked with. My niggas eat like a banquet. I pray to God for them Benjamin Franklin. She called me daddy, I'm giving her spankings. I legal the money, but daily I'm still in the feel like I'm camping. Yeah, internet money, you see how I get it by checking the bandwidth. That went over your head like a flight when it's landing. That boy is goofy, I can't understand him. Play with me, you can get smacked when you stand it. Bro, niggas do not deserve a reaction. Whole nigga, that nigga cap when he rapping. I love to trap, but my niggas still trapping. I can't relax if we chasing the back end. Feel like the greatest, like Jackson. Gotta be Michael. I dad used to trap in the cycle. I swear for the money, a nigga go cycle. I swear for them hundreds, the hustle is vital. A young nigga blessed like the Bible. I just got a call from my mans, and they told me my homie got hit and they couldn't revive him. Damn, why the fuck I survive it? Take the homie and put him in diamonds. Everyone loyal, now everyone shining. Come from the dark, but I silver the line it. I'm trying to roll the time and mama a gem, she deserving a diamond. Swear I just put it in Louis, she cried. That was her first time in the sign up. Yeah. Uh. Swear I just put it in Louis, she cried. That was her first time in the sign uh. I don't sell pain, I sell hope, by the way. Yeah, I feel like the voice. Hi, y'all. First day back. Trapping. I'm about to be in here taking in all your daughters. When I'm on tour, I'm coming out with no shirt on to an old tour like Trey Songz. You heard? I'm gonna be out there like. I'm gonna be out there like. Love, ever since the first moment, I saw you. Nah, we chill. I'm in public. Alright, see y'all in a few. Alright, ropes once before we leave, though. Day two of my stressed out skin. You feel me? You see me, but nah. I really, I usually, I wouldn't even have vlogged this, but my life is crazy. So look at this, look at this, y'all. My my joint, my my pole broke in my shower. My pole broke in my shower. Now, do you want to know how my pole broke in my shower? So I don't know if this is weird, but <laughs> I be feeling like the shower is a good time to pray. You feel me? Like I be on all fours in there. I be on my knees. The hot water be running down my back. You know, I be on my knees in the shower, laid up. The hot water be running on my back, it be feeling good. You get the, the water hit right on the back of your neck, so it like flow down. You feel the warmth of the Lord. You feel me? You feel the warmth of your Lord all on your neck. So after I finish saying my prayers, I'm like, usually I just stand up, but I think I was in a, I almost caught a little slip. I, I hit a little slip. So I'm like, yo, let me grab the little shower rack. Like, hold on, let me get in here so y'all can really see. So like, imagine my angle. I'm down here, so I'm looking up at the shower rack. So I'm like, yo, let me grab the shower rack to get up. It broke off, no blood clot. It broke off, no blood clot. <laughs> but I was praying while it happened. You feel me? That's what's wrong with y'all. Y'all be, y bad things be happening y'all, but y'all don't be, be, be receiving y'all blessings. See, I was talking to the Lord when my problem started. Hold on. One thing about your boy, your boy makes a good pancake. That's one thing about your boy. So after you come over and you get your back blown out, you feel me? You eat good before you leave because you got to go. <laughs> nah. Listen, that's not the real me. That's just me being funny for the camera. You feel me? You know, the real me is a gentleman. You know, you can stay. We get all the bitches now. <laughs> you two, what's up, baby? Yo. The believers, the mod squad, Nick said, Nick said mod squad. I don't know, really know what that was about, but um, yeah, we gotta go do some a little adulting, the old school way. Now it's almost time for me to get my license back. You heard? But today we still can't drive. We got a we got a little more time. We're almost done. All right, we got a little more time, but we still have to drive. So now I'm gonna have to go walk, go to Publix, 
I'm going to probably cop food, I forget money order, come back and then pay me on rent. On rent, I forget pay. And then, um, uh, we're going to cook. I don't know what we are going to cook, but we're going to figure it out, you know? And, um, to blood clot, you know? My, 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 my music out on all streaming platforms, on Apple Music, on Spotify, on my pan Tidal, on SoundCloud, and all that unexpected to pussy clot. You know what I'm saying? I'm a dare, I'm a dare. Um, um, so I'm going to do what I have to do. And um, you know, bother, bother me. You know what I'm saying? To, uh, I mean, I know what we're gonna cook. We have to cook up something nice. I forgot to look on TikTok and find me a little meal and um, a little something for cook and see a little recipe and then we go buy buy supply and, and, and seasoning. And um, we're gonna do what we have to do. Yeah. Me there. Me, uh, yeah, yeah, me there. All right, y'all. Niggas be thinking I be lying. <laughs> when I be saying, I be walking, I be walking to the supermarket. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. I would, if it wasn't for instant carson days, shit, these legs would do miles, nigga. You niggas don't even understand what I be walking. You feel me? But, um, yeah. This is just to show there's no cap in my rap. I'm too close to my crib right now to show y'all where my feet is stomping at. But, um, when I get farther from my crib, I'm gonna show y'all really, it's really my life right now. Oh, it's been my life, but shit is getting better, you feel me? I'm too, nigga, I'm the only, y'all niggas. You ain't never heard a nigga so happy to be on the side of the road, man. I ain't used my legs this much in, much in fucking years since high school when I was a little nigga walking home from school and shit. So, you know, life is humbling in some ways, but you gotta find a joy. You heard? Let's go. I'm in Publix right now. The streets must have got to me, but I'm in Publix during um, Caucasian hours. You feel me? I'm, I am one. I'm the, only, I'm the only black person in Publix right now, other than a few workers. Um, yeah. What's up, Dan? How you doing? Um, I got some wings, and now I gotta do what I always do. I don't know if y'all do this, but you gotta take a break, go on TikTok, and see what you're gonna do with the wings, so then you can then get the proper sauces and spices. You feel me? So let's, let, let's go then. So y'all, I'm thinking about figuring out how to make my own special sauce today. Now, as I've been having on my channel, this is my favorite Caribbean joint right here, but I don't want to do Caribbean today. They got a little cherry jalapeno. They got a little sweet heat. And um, I'm trying to make something different, you know? I told you I'm the only black person in the store, as you can see. <laughs> you feel me? This is a black only aisle. Um, uh... What am I gonna mix? All right, let's try cherry jalapeno. I don't know what this is, but I'm gonna try cherry jalapeno, cherry jalapeno barbecue sauce. Or maybe I should just try sweet heat. This is where we started on the channel, right? Sweet heat, man, sweet heat barbecue sauce. That's where we starting at today. Yeah, we're making our own special sauce that I'm making shit up. I got garlic herb seasoning. I don't even know three beer. That's how you know. I don't even drink beer and I bought this. We outside. Oh, in my AirPods. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know about y'all, but I've been stopped using honey. What is honey doing for a nigga like me, man? Come on, it's good, big agave season, you heard. What spices? What spices can I get? I need new basil leaves. I need new basil leaves. I don't, I don't, I don't need new base ones. I need to do, almost got caught flaming the old head. With salt and pepper. You look like an old my player. Let's see what this ram is. Let's see what this ram is. Let's see. Okay, good sauce. Whoa. Whoa. What? Coupon. Lie, 
I'm in Publix, I just did my food shopping. But I never had a strength to go two ways and give me a stack. I always walk and then go Uber back. Cause it's like, this, this shit really reasonably close to my house. And it's really a two minute drive from my house. But it just happens to be like a 15 to 20 minute walk. But at the same time, it's like a two minute drive and you about to charge me $10 for it, just don't make sense. So I half it, $10 round trip, so I, I take it back. You feel me? That's usually how I do it. But um, yeah, we about to go pay the rent, you feel me? This is, the, this is what we really came here for, the adult and Gotta go to the um, leasing office, drop off that rent payment, and then, um, yeah, we can cook some food, you know? We with me on the calm days. This is the, this is the countdown to the last couple days before. I'm back outside, boys, towing the 70 on the strip. I'm ready to You're, I'm back in the crib right now. Starving, rent paid. Um, what else? Joe's on TV right now, and he got me caught up his crazy ass. Crazy ass Joe. Where you at? Where you at? Yeah. Any of you women play with me? I swear to God, keep playing with me. Any of you women play with me? I'm going Joe on your ass. Going Joe on your ass. Think of me. I'm Black Joe. You heard? You play with me, and you yeah yeah. I've been watching you all week. Uh huh. I have. You don't even know. You don't even know I live across the hall from you, do you? Right? <laughs> yeah, I'm about to cook though. I'm starving. Q! Nah, I gotta grow up. But, um, what's up, y'all? This is not a normal cooking video of HUD Food Network. Know that special HUD Food Network videos will be on Patreon in the link in bio below. First of all, I only have one Patreon subscriber right now. I'm literally hitting up people working on things behind the scenes to give y'all special content and conversation that you would normally not get from, from the board. And I got one person that want to see that? Exclusive? Did you, did you really go check out what I was offering? One freestyle a month? One unreleased song a month? Did y'all go Did y'all go see that? I'm about to create the Patreon mixtape. That's what I'm working on right now, the Patreon mixtape. And the only way you're going to be able to get it is if you sign up to the Patreon. The music going to be there exclusively. That's what we're working on, but nobody signed up. But I digress. You know what I'm saying? So today, I'm about to cook me a little some lunch wings, some little wings for lunch. I ain't had wings in mad long, and I said I was gonna make me a little special sauce, so I'm gonna make a little wings and fries. Let me bust these over. Booted da ba da boo. Who's calling me? I just have a feeling this is my mother. It's my mother, ain't it? I don't know, it's the guys. All right, y'all, now, first, let's make sure we act black and put that vinegar on there. Let's act black, let's act black. Let's act black. This is the Hood Food Network. You feel me? And you know, it's a hood in every, and everybody's a neighborhood. But my hood was specifically, we was doing shit like this. You know what I'm saying? Vinegar on the chicken. Vinegar on the chicken. Boom. Boom. Uh-huh. Gotta get the good scissor with the good lunettes for the good lunettes. Now, let's get right. You see that chicken? A little adobo. Adobo on that chicken. Definitely adobo meat. We don't never do too much with the salt, but this is like 12 pieces of chicken. A little salt. Boom. A little black pepper. This is just this is just lunch right here. A little black pepper. Um, what we got? Little onion powder. Little onion powder. Onion powder not that fresh, but hey. Hey. Who am I? Who are y'all to judge me? Little garlic powder. Okay. Where's my favorite where's my favorite Spanish seasoning at? 
my favorite Spanish seasoning, a little sazone. Sazone. That's what I'm saying. A lot of y'all don't really be seasoning your chicken. I'm telling you, y'all don't really be seasoning your chicken. I know it don't be seasoned. I know it don't be seasoned. And then you gotta, what else we got in here? What else we got in here? Before we, before we start mixing around, me, I just start throwing shit in there. Red chili, chick, red chili flakes, pepper flakes. We just start throwing shit in there, man. We making sure we make, this is just for lunch too. This is just lunch right here. I'm telling you, this is just lunch. Oh, oh, do you, let me get y'all up in here. Cause this is, your mother chicken don't be looking like this. And I don't even mean to come at auntie like that. Cause you know, I know the last couple of Thanksgiving, auntie done been, the chicken ain't been as seasoned as it usually is. And y'all ain't been happy. But y'all know if y'all talk about it, auntie gonna curse y'all out. Well, let this be the reminder for you to tell your grandma that that mac and cheese ain't hitting like it used to hit a couple years ago. And maybe she needs to let somebody else take it over. <laughs> you feel me? My fault. My fault. I'm not trying to start no family problems. Don't, don't, don't blame me. Don't do it. Okay. So now we got our chicken all colored up. Shh. Not while I'm pouring. Now this, this is, I learned this from my dog Beast. Rest in peace to the legend all the time. You gotta put the oil on top to like, this seals the seasoning. Like it put a secret coat where like, now it's sealed, right? Boom, boom, look at this. Cause I want my chicken to be a little crispy today, right? So boom, look, now we got the little seal on there with the, uh, with the oil. We put like a little jacket on it. It's like a little jacket, seasoning locked in. We ain't switching up, right? Boom. Then I don't do too much of this. I don't do too much. But you look, you take the cornstarch, you take the cornstarch, and I like to put the cornstarch on the inside of the bowl. Like me, I put the cornstarch, dang, I can't even show y'all, but I put the cornstarch like to the side. Let me just do it. I, I, I can do it like this today for y'all. I put a little cornstarch. I put a little cornstarch in here, right? Not too much, just enough. Cause it's like you want you want it to to be part of it, but then you gotta season the cornstarch. You feel me? You gotta season the cornstarch. The cornstarch gotta be seasoned. You gotta season the cornstarch because, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. You season up the cornstarch. Now the cornstarch. It got flavor. You feel me? Now you got flavor in your cornstarch. Now you take that. You take the cornstarch. Boom, boom, boom. This is just lunch, by the way. This is just lunch. You take that. Uh, with the oh, messing up my clothes. With that up, yeah. Give that, give that a little texture. Yeah, give everybody a little personality in there. Uh huh. And then we gonna air fry it, and these joints is gonna be crispy. When I tell you these joints gonna be crispy, oh my god. You know what I was supposed to try? I was supposed to try this little mustard thing. Cause I hate mustard in real life. But, we about to air fry this, and we about to see what these is busting for for lunch. So in the rarest of occasions, a nigga like me actually used his oven. The chicken is getting baked because I had my other oven was occupied. My other my other oven is making fries. My other oven is is occupied right now. Yo, you know one thing about the air fryer you got to be careful of, especially when you when you put oil on the fries. That oil will be sitting in the bottom and flick up and ruin your whole fries. I done been through it all with the air fryer. Okay. Yeah. Do your thing. Do your thing, 21. Do your thing. All right, it's sauce time. So we start with butter. Today, you know I told you I usually go with the Caribbean. Today I went with the sweet heat. Come on, zoom in, sweet heat. What you doing? Clear up. Yeah, the sweet heat. Let's start with that. 
All right, I'm not gonna lie. This this smells like more traditional, like Laurie's barbecue sauce in some ways. But I told y'all, y'all don't know nothing about the agave. Mhm. Mm this is a fun. It's gonna be a fun lunch meal. Cause the sauce gonna go mad good with the French fries too. Yeah. And then I bought this three bear garlic garlic herb rub. Let's put that in there. I almost put the the heavy side in. All right, look at my chicken bacon, just looking mad good bacon. Now we're gonna take this hot sauce. And get all of our situation. Hold on, let me mix that up. I gotta pick, mix this up in there. Well, while that is in there, Doing this last little cook up. We got the sauce from the pan. <laughs> let's see what these french fries is hitting for. Let's see what these let's see what these french fries is hitting for. Mmm. Mmm. I'm using my baked sauced up wings right here. So I'm about to have some lunch with my fries. I'll show you the plate in a second. Lunch! Lunch! Yes, I did do that. Those wings is looking, oh my god, damn. All right, y'all, let me update you on my last 24 hours because it wasn't on camera. So, one my music i worked out a I worked out a deal with um this studio and we in the we in the midst of finalizing it which um i'll actually be able to get a lot of in studio recording time at the studio right now and for minimum fee to me so super dope just lock that in um my project that I was supposed to drop on February 14th, um, Love a Boy in Disguise, that's what I was about to drop, um, is postponed. I had actually got a deal with these people, which I'll be announcing when that is also finalized, and which I was going to be able to put my project out for offer-based fee. Basically, that's like putting my project out, I was going to have physical CDs and copies, sell them, but you'd be able to basically pay what you want for the copy to support me. So instead of it just being listed at a regular price, like $10 or something like that, all right, I got my memory back. But like I was saying, so instead of you just, instead of my project just being posted at a regular price, like $10, where so you can just buy it at ten dollars it would basically be if you wanted to pay a hundred dollars for it because you want to support the movement or yeah just whatever you wanted to pay to support the artist because i don't know if people know this when you're dealing with music as an independent artist i don't know if it's different at a label because i've never been signed to a label but as an independent artist um we don't get paid when we put out music until three months later so like even right now for instance i'm having a big moment with love 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 did like two hundred thousand streams on apple music last month i'm not gonna get paid from them january streams until maybe april but this was this platform was basically gonna allow me to put out a project and be able to directly collect money on the product that I put out, just like if you put a shirt in Target, you get the money right away. You know, you don't gotta wait three months on back pay to get your money, you know what I'm saying? So it was more like turning myself into merchandise and I was gonna include shirts and everything. So I had this package all the way set up and basically me and um, basically a person I was working with were unable to come to an agreement in which I could get the music in time to put it out. And now it kind of put me in a situation where, you know, 
with that relationship just not being um stable at this point in time it's like i rather just not even deal with the problems of of the music also a uh, a issue that i'm dealing with now with um producers is being independent i always try to look out for the producers so basically how the business works um from artist to producer is the beat is half of the song and the lyrics is half of the song but now if you're an independent artist that 50 50 model kind of doesn't work because if you, you're taking half of the money for a record, then like now I have to spend time and spend money and time into promoting the record, which means it just doesn't work out to be fair. So, yeah, it's just been a lot like with just learning the business and just the way that social media has changed the game and made independence such a thing. It's like now it's just completely changed the rules of independence but yeah so basically with that i'm thinking about maybe putting that music on patreon exclusively so you guys can hear it and um give me your opinion as like my a and r so join my patreon below in the link you know just the five i'm putting on the, the five dollar tier the ten dollar tier for sure it's um i'm filling it up i've been building up the content so i could do one big upload um before the weekend's out so by monday my patreon will be filled up but yeah i'm gonna upload the songs on patreon and let you guys hear it and any songs that you guys really want i'll take the i could just do the old business model and accept it for the sake of you guys so um yeah we about to do that sign up for my patreon i'm gonna upload the music tomorrow let you guys hear all of it and uh yeah let's get interactive man let's get interactive it's a friday i'm mad single i'm not gonna lie it's a friday i'm mad single for the first time i i didn't really get this i ain't really sat on here and just talked to y'all but i'm mad single for the first time like usually i'd be saying i'm single but i'd be liking somebody or like you feel me somebody could somebody could shut me up you know but like right now i'm mad single like it's really friday and i really don't have no perspective or perspective i'm just out here so you feel me if you a fire and you trying to um you trying to hear love love in person or some you know get one of these cook home cooked um mod meals you know that i'll be busting down get you some you know drizzle you and some candy barbecue sauce you know what i'm saying come over here and get you some pancakes because you know my pancakes is busting you feel me i'm gonna bust your ass and then in the morning i'm gonna bust you bust make you bust down some good ass pancakes it's, it's a win-win for us boo you know what i'm saying but um other than that we going up i'm telling you uh, there's a lot of people that have been really um pissing me off because they've been on my dick like i'm pretty, i'm sorry youtube they be on my dick and i don't really feel the on my dick shit you know what i'm saying like get off my dick why you on my dick you feel me because it's like I read some dope shit the other day, right? And, you know, they were saying that um, it was kind of like a glass half empty. This, and this is how I'm going to end this video. It was kind of like a glass half empty, glass half full thing. Because it was like, when you have nothing, right? People look at you as having nothing. But everything starts as nothing. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, everything starts as nothing. Like, you got to be delusional and crazy with this shit. For it to even be believable. Do you think that little Aubrey Graham from Degrassi talking all proper realized he was going to be the biggest artist arguably of all time? The only way to do that is he has to delusionally see something that's not there. Because nobody could tell me that they looked at old Aubrey and saw Drake. You can't tell me that. And I'm just getting tired of people with bad eyes. And it's like, look at yourself. Go look in the mirror. 
Have you looked at yourself lately? Like the nerve of you to tell me I can't do something. What you trying to do? At least I'm out here failing. You feel me? I might be messing it up every time. But every time I mess it up, I get one step closer. You's a coward, nigga. You don't even got my heart. You ain't never lose at nothing. And a nigga that ain't never lost can't tell me shit. And that's the end of my rant today. Hallelujah. Stay blessed out there. Stay highly favored. You feel me? Don't let these people tell you what you can't do. You know how you do all this shit that you want to do? If you want to be the biggest YouTuber in the world, biggest content creator, the biggest, you got to be delusional. You got to be delusional. I'm telling you. You got to be delusional. I'm telling you delusional the word of the the word of the year is delusional you got to be goddamn delusional because the the only niggas that win is the delusional niggas i'm telling you you ain't never seen a you ain't never seen a non-delusional nigga win i'm telling you every nigga's crazy every nigga that did some major shit that mattered that nigga was crazy it's like how the hell you think that's gonna work and then it work and then they be like oh that nigga not as crazy as he thought i thought the nigga was you get what I'm saying? So be the crazy nigga. Because you only the crazy nigga for so long. And word. That's MOD's word of inspiration. Make sure you stay prayed up. Make sure you stay meditated up. Make sure you stay manifesting the shit that you're supposed to be manifesting in your life. And make sure you stay focused. Other than that, I love you. Forever. Unexpected 2 is out now. Love, love is still go, going crazy. Valentine's Day is this week. If you don't, If you don't get some cheeks to love, love, you're done. You're done. Me and you was done. You better get some cheeks to love, love. That's worth to my mother. And um, other than that, I'm out. I'm chatting out.